space has truly earned its Monaco as the final frontier, stretching in all directions with rules of gravity and physics that do not apply on Earth. The possibilities for what might lie beyond our comprehension are endless. Some things that occur are so strange that it seems that the only explanation is one that involves aliens and other life forms. But most are none other than marvels of science that have never been seen on our small planet. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at instances of space marvels so unexpected that they even surprised scientists. Zombie Satellite Found by Amateur Radio Operator Satellites are the window into outer space and provide valuable services to those of us here on Earth. In fact, there are thousands of satellites currently working for us that are clustered outside of Earth's atmosphere, as well as many more that are no longer in use. When satellites are retired from active use, they are usually burned up upon atmosphere re-entry and forgotten about, while others remain in the skies for years after they have fallen out of use. Typically, these satellites remain because they malfunctioned in some way so that they are no longer able to be remotely controlled and they are usually forgotten about. These wandering satellites are known as zombie satellites, and not all of them are totally malfunctioned, as sometimes once they are rediscovered, a connection can be restored. Scott Tilly, an amateur radio operator living in Canada, is among the niche group of people who have made a hobby of hunting these rogue and defunct satellites down, and has even helped NASA re-establish contact with some, including the image NASA probe that disappeared in 2005. People in these groups are interested in attempting to track down the oldest possible satellites that they can. And although Tilly managed to locate the nuclear-powered US Navy navigation satellite Transit 5B5 that launched in 1965, he had his sights set on something much higher. The LES-5 satellite was created by the Lincoln Laboratory at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and, having been launched in 1967, could be the oldest functioning satellite remaining in geostationary orbit. That is, if it was still even out there. However, Tilly is no novice at satellite hunting, and needing something to do with all the extra time he found himself with, he quickly took on the daunting tasks of poring over papers online until he was able to discover the radio frequency that LES-5 operated on and began the time-consuming process of building a structure to support the massive antenna that would pick up what he hoped was the correct frequency. And, on March 24th, he was finally rewarded for his efforts as he picked up on radio measurements of the LES-5 as it circled the Earth. However, there was a surprise in store for him as he continued to take measurements and study the elusive ancient satellite. Not only was LES-5 still active in orbit in Earth's atmosphere, but its radio apparently did not shut down as planned in 1972 and is still operating continually charging with the solar panels attached to it. This means that it is highly possible the satellite could be contacted once again after all these years. Interestingly, despite the apparent excitement that might surround such an interesting discovery, the lab that was responsible for creating the satellite has not issued a comment regarding its sudden reappearance. Many think that this is an indication that LES-5 was used for classified military projects, as the lab was known to have worked on several with the US military. So it seems that this zombie satellite might have a few secrets up its sleeves despite years of radio silence. Blueberries on Mars In 2004, NASA sent its Opportunity rover to Mars in order to explore more of its surface hoping to learn about its composition and more information regarding the history of Mars. After landing on Mars, the rover made an interesting discovery, tiny dark blue spheres that appeared to resemble blueberries. The land covered in these spherical small pebbles were termed as blueberries by scientists, because they appeared to look incredibly similar to the fruit. There were several of these blueberries all located into one general area, which scientists found to be very curious. The blueberries were measured to be very small, only being up to 6.2 millimeters in diameter. The scientists on the Mars team were baffled because nothing like the blueberries had ever been discovered before, 
and it was bizarre that only this specific area contained them. Scientists were aware that the region of Mars where the blueberries were found contained a lot of hematite, or iron oxide. Scientists believe that the blueberries were formed by liquid water moving through rocks over time, water heavily infused with iron oxide. This insight is extremely foundational. First of all, it suggests that flowing water was once present on Mars. For spheres of this kind, flowing water had to be involved, specifically over a long period of time. This hints to the suggestion that Mars is a highly complex terrain, and that ancient Mars may have appeared much differently than the Mars we currently know. It remains a mystery how these blueberries fully formed, and what was involved in their creation. While scientists are sure that iron oxide and mineral-infused water was involved, they remain unsure of just what it took for these little blueberries to form. Some theories suggest perhaps they are pieces of meteorite that have been shaped over time. Unfortunately, more sophisticated technology is required in order to fully understand what is going on behind the chemistry of the blueberries. Nothing like this exists on Earth so scientists are extremely limited in their access to learning more about the blueberries. It is difficult to fully know what they are made of and how exactly so many of them came into being in the same area at once. The technology required to learn more about these blueberries is currently being designated to learning more big-picture information about Mars. However, it is possible that more may be discovered about the blueberries in the future. One thing is for sure, the discovery of the blueberries tells us that we have much more to learn about Mars. Mars is humming The InSight rover landed on Mars in November 2018, landing near the equator of the Red Planet. NASA's robot has been measuring the planet's seismic activity and conducting tests on its geographic qualities. Its mission is to understand and learn about the geology of rocky planets to observe their evolution and gain some more understanding about Earth's history and potential future. Scientists cannot get enough data on rocky planets just from Earth, they need to gather information from others. InSight landed in the Elysium Planitia, a small crater located on a volcanic plain. This location is often caught in wind and dust storms. The data it has gathered so far suggests that the seismic activity and magnetic field on Mars are much stronger than the researchers estimated, about 10 times more. While collecting data, the rover recorded a strange humming sound that researchers and experts have not been able to concretely identify the cause of. They have their speculations, though, and suggest it is caused by both seismic movement below the surface as well as the wind above it. When combined together, these two forces create a strange sound. The hum actually cannot be heard by humans. It falls outside our frequency range but gets picked up on readings by the robot and its machines. So, any future human visitors will not be able to hear Mars humming. The researchers are excited at finding so many similarities between Mars and Earth. The infrasound sound we can't hear, and the atmospheric turbulence are encouraging to their studies on finding out Mars' history and seeing what its timeline looks like compared to ours. Interestingly enough, Earth also has a faint infrasound humming to it. There have been reports of a hum that have been a hot debate for many years, even outside the astronomy community. Scientists can't really explain it, but many people try to blame it for certain diseases and health issues. There have been many locations across Earth that have complained of some sort of noise pollution and mysterious humming sounds. Now, InSight has identified a similar one on Mars. The robot was using a seismometer to measure the quakes underneath the planet. Since its first reading, it has measured over 400 quakes. It even managed to find fault lines on Mars, which confirms the constant seismic activity found. A few of the quakes have registered at 3 to 4 magnitudes, but most of them were so small that the machines and scientists were unable to detect their origin. Researchers also found that there are more quakes on Mars when the planet gets cold. When it cools down, it contracts, which forces the brittle layers near the surface to break in a way to accommodate their positioning. This breaking is causing stress on the surface that results in quakes. 
there are still many mysteries that the Insight researchers are excited about delving into, like how they recorded some type of activity at Mars's depth. They believe there might even be hot magma still at its core. They will continue to measure the activity and gather as much knowledge about Mars's geological history as possible. Fossil Spiral Arms Found in the Outskirts of the Milky Way A new set of enormous fossil structures have been found at the outer regions of our Milky Way, with astronomers now having to work to understand how it has gone undetected for so long. The new discovery is all thanks to technology from the European Space Agency. Their Gaia Observatory, first launched in 2013, is part of a project which can map parts of the Milky Way in 3D, with the highest precision seen to date. Gaia does her work by orbiting the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrangian point, which offers a gravitationally stable point created by the dynamic between the Sun and Earth. It also provides a suitable vantage point for her to observe the Milky Way, studying the stars for as long as it takes, and mapping changes in positioning and other movements in the galaxy. Over time, by tracking these displacements, Gaia can determine with high accuracy, the distances to these observed stars. Previously, such data gathering was simply done from Earth. However, atmospheric differences have been known to interfere with data, making it much less reliable. Further proof of this is discoveries such as this one, where Gaia has revealed various galactic structures that we had no prior knowledge of. This time, the exact discovery is thought to be some kind of fossil spiral arms, most likely what is left from disruptive gravitational forces from nearby dwarf galaxies, astronomers think. This fits with some of Gaia's other similar findings, which have brought to light smaller galaxies that have over time been absorbed into the Milky Way, making them pretty much invisible up until now. The detail of the galactic mappings Gaia is able to provide makes for an exciting future. Who knows what else there is to discover about our very own galaxy. James Webb Telescope Peers Through Dust for Unprecedented Look at Black Hole If you have been following any of the news surrounding the James Webb Space Telescope, your eyes have probably gazed upon the breathtaking photos being released by NASA. Notably, Webb's near-infrared spectrometer was trained on the supermassive black hole of Stevens Quintet. Stevens Quintet can be viewed in one of the first five full-color web images that were released on July 12th. The photo is of five galaxies that are neighbors with each other, and the fifth one is much closer to the Earth than the others. One of the ways the chemical makeup of space material can be determined is through light passes. Since James Webb's spectrometer breaks light into constituent wavelengths and different elements absorb light at determined wavelengths, the infrared spectrometer gathered a light spectrum from the supermassive black hole, even though it is surrounded by stardust. The wavelengths that Webb used to view the supermassive black hole have never been observed. The result is they correspond to atomic hydrogen, molecular hydrogen or two hydrogen atoms bound together and electrically charged iron ions in the gas surrounding the black hole. Because of these findings, scientists can map the gas structure being consumed by the black hole as well as any gases being excreted. Mighty streams of radiation are created by the extreme compression of gas and dust spiraling around the black hole. The near-infrared spectrometer is a very important apparatus for comprehending the chemical makeup of far-off objects. Scientists can use it to study stars, galaxies and planets, as well as black holes. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.